Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see right here, I've got a bunch of rotors sitting on my table. What I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna go ahead and powder coat the hats on these before I install them on my IS300. So stay tuned. So if you guys have been following me on my last few videos, you'll notice I just rebuilt these Brembo 17Z calipers I got from a Volkswagen Touareg. These are the same calipers used on the Porsche Cayenne and the Audi Q7. And I'm gonna go ahead and retrofit them onto my IS300 today. To do that, we're gonna need these rotors right here. So these rotors are the ones that you need to fit on the IS300. Front rotors off a GS350 F-Sport. Any of the new four GSs, the F-Sport versions that come with the 14 inch rotors and the bigger calipers are the same ones. These are the aftermarket versions, so they're just single piece solid centric versions, but these are the ones that you're gonna need to fit the 17Z calipers over there. The rears, I got them off an RCF or a GSF, and these are the blanks. The GSF and the RSF usually come with the slots in them, but I found a company that sold these as blanks. So we got these as blanks to match the front. So in today's video, I'm gonna clean up all the corrosion and all this crap and oil that are on these after manufacturing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and powder coat these things, King Sport Gray. So King Sport Gray is almost like graphite gray pearl. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit lighter than that. Uh, as you can see here, I did all the little brackets under my engine. I'm gonna do these things in that metallic King Sport gray. And the reason why I wanna powder coat these is to add a layer of protection. As anybody knows, doing new rotors, they look nice in the first week, but once you get these wet and on the car, this area starts corroding and looking pretty nasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just powder coat them before I put them on the car just to make them look pretty. Some people might say it's a bad idea to powder coat them because you're adding thickness to the hub, where especially where the wheel bolts on, but I don't really care. I'm not gonna put that thick of a layer on the hub itself. My main concern is right here along the hat and around these edges right here. So I'm gonna put a little bit thicker powder right there. I'm gonna put a light coat on here just to provide a good layer of protection to keep it from corroding. All right, I got the first one coated. As you can see, I wiped down all the way to where I think the pad is gonna end. That way when it cures, I have less to rub off or wear off once I put these on the car. You never wanna coat all your riding surfaces because then your brakes will end up having to burn all that off when you actually use it. I'll go ahead and put this in a toaster oven, let it bake up to 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Uh, remember, you have to get it up to temperature and then it's got to sit for 10 minutes once it hits temperature. So it's usually like a 30 minute ordeal. So this 14 inch toaster oven that I got is perfect size for both these rotors. They fit in just enough space so I can close the doors and bake them. All right, we got these babies out of the oven. Took about 30 minutes each just to get them up to temperature, which is around 375 to 400 degrees. And you gotta let it sit there for 10 minutes to bake in there, but we got them all out. It's all nice and dry and hard now. So we're good and we're ready to put these babies on the car. On my next video, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything installed onto the car. So check out the next video. If you wanna check out the previous videos where I powder coated and prepped and did all these things, check out that video on the links at the end of this video. Hey guys, I wanna thank you for watching all the way to the end of this quick video on powder coating these hats on the rotors. As you can see, it came out pretty nice. It's gonna protect these rotors when they're on the car. That way I don't get any rust and nasty looking stuff around the hub and the wheels. If you guys found this video useful or like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to your channel to stay on top of all my different DIY videos, go ahead and subscribe to your channel. Remember guys, for all these different projects, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.